When I wear it, I feel like I'm wearing a costume. Therefore, it is a costume. Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. Hi guys, we finally moved. And now all the unpacking begins. So while there is other stuff I should be unpacking, putting away clothing and setting up the bedroom is one of the things I find the easiest. Being in a new space is the perfect opportunity to really refine the way I have my wardrobe organized. And the main thing that I really wanna do this time around is separate what I consider my everyday casual wear from the things that I consider more like costumes. Even if they aren't necessarily a costume in and of themselves, the things that I wear for or more costumey occasions. Listen, I'm an acting teacher, those occasions occur. And then probably the second pass through is when I'm gonna decide what is everyday casual clothes, what is just around the house casual clothes, and then what is my work clothes. I'm basically just trying to create little mini capsules within my wardrobe. All right, that's enough chit chat. I'm gonna put on some music and let's start. Right away, here's a dress that I think is absolutely lovely. It's just a really nice long white dress. I don't think I've ever worn it out and about just as me. I usually put it with other items in a way that feels more costumey. Ooh, something I definitely need to come back around to at the end as well is just there needs to be a reckoning with my t-shirts. I have way too many t-shirts. Like I have a thought in my mind of how I want to go about it. It's not going to make sense if I try to explain it. So I'll just, we'll just deal with that when we get there. We'll burn that bridge when we cross it. Burn that cross when we bridge it? No, definitely not that. Anyway, I kind of don't like this pair of leggings. The fabric is very stiff in a way that makes them unyielding, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know how I feel about this shirt. I kind of want to fix how I altered it. Okay, those can go on the floor over there, because why not? I'm also on the fence about this shirt. Last year when I made that bear costume for Charles, someone said that we could do a couple's costume of Midsummer. <laughs> Honestly, that was a great idea. So maybe I'll keep this for that. <laughs> See if Charles will go along with that for Halloween this year. He probably won't, but I'll try. Oh, this is definitely a costume. My flouncy sleeve, cheap polyester blouse. It's a great like historical looking floofy puff sleeve blouse, but it feels so costumey just because of how over the top it is and because of the cheap material. You know, this too, but I don't know if I want to put this in costumes. It's just a basic mock neck black tank top. I don't know if it feels like me though. It's a great piece to style in a more vintage way, like do a really easy beatnik costume. I actually used it in a play where I was a mother in the 60s. Perfect versatile top. I don't know if I want to put it in costumes just yet though. I don't think I will. This dress I need to make a slight alteration. Okay here's another long white dress that it's just so lovely but it feels a little bit much. Again cheap material so it's really lovely but um, uh, I might put this in costumes. Oh I haven't washed this yet. I literally just got this off Poshmark and I'm so obsessed with it. It's a little dark green cardigan that has embroidered mushrooms and ferns on it. It's by Disturbia but I got it secondhand. It's so cute. I love it. All right I do need to wash this though. Like it arrived right before we were moving so I just kind of like threw it in my stuff. <laughs> Ooh, undergarments. You don't need to see those. I really like this green flannel, but I just don't reach for it. It's so cute, but no, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Ooh, okay, this is like a little, I don't even know what it is, honestly. Just a little floaty, cute thing with some very nice embroidery. How freaking cute is that? And it's so short and so lightweight that I thought it would be a cute beach cover up, but it's kind of a weird length where it like wasn't quite long enough to be a dress. It just didn't look good as a beach cover-up. So I don't know what I'll do with it. I might put it in costumes for now. Look how lovely this is. <laughs> yeah, definitely costume. <laughs> All right, I've decided that there's just no way I'm gonna wear jorts. I bought these last spring. No, I bought these last winter. They were like 50 cents at this really cheap thrift store near me. They're really cool, really great pair of jorts, but I just don't like shorts in general that much. And jorts specifically <laughs> look really stupid on me. I already have short legs and they just make my legs look shorter. I was gonna alter this, but I don't know what to do with it. You know what, maybe, maybe I will still alter it. Maybe I'll just like put up a poll or something on Instagram and you guys can tell me what to do with it. Here you go. 
take a look, get some ideas, go follow me on Instagram and then tell me what to do with it. <laughs> This for sure is a costume piece. I don't know why I bought this. It's very cute, but like, let's be real. When am I gonna wear this? When? The thing that makes it unwearable in regular life for me isn't that it's mushrooms, isn't that it's pink, isn't that it's a corset. It's that it's a bubblegum pink mushroom corset. It's all those things together, but it's very cute. And I wanna see if I can use it in a costume. I gotta be honest with myself, as much as this is like so freaking cool, this is a costume. <laughs> This is for the rare day when I'm feeling very spicy. Definitely costume. Hello, Beetlejuice. Oh my gosh, why do I have so much stuff? You know, I actually don't think I need this. I used to wear this all the time as like a pinafore. This is very much part of my wannabe Audrey Hepburn phase. Listen, Breakfast at Tiffany's is still my favorite movie, but I don't want to dress like Holly Go Lightly all the time anymore. Listen, I was very lost, that's all I can say. So I don't really think I need this. And this one I think I'm gonna sell. I did wear this once to a wedding. I felt fine in it, it's a lovely color, but I don't see myself really wearing it again. It's not something I would purchase now. Hee 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 hee. This is definitely a costume. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this long term. I do like it though. I don't know, something about this weird puke green color. I don't know, we'll see how long it actually sticks around, but it's gonna be a costume for now. Okay, velvet blazer, definitely a costume. Mm, these I might alter. They're just like too yellow. I want them to be a deeper brown and less yellow tinted. These still have a little hole in the butt from where I rearranged the pocket. So those need to be mended. Do I even want to keep my skinny jeans? I don't know. Those might end up going in storage. I literally just don't wear them right now. Weird trousers are costume. Oh yeah, these are my hobbit pants. These are a costume. Like if they were a flared high-rise corduroy pant, they would be a regular everyday outfit pant, but they're not. They're kind of a skinny fit. These are also definitely a costume. These are like a dark brown faux suede legging. They're so warm, but they just don't really feel practical for every day. I think I want to dye these shorts too. I just don't love this beige off-white color. I think I want these to be brown also. And this is tough, but I just don't think I need this. I really like this blouse. The color looks great on me. No, I want to keep it. <laughs> Sorry, I like, I like that blouse. I like it a lot. Just not ready, guys. And that's okay. Hee hee hee. I couldn't help myself when I saw this on ThreadUp. I had to get it. Freaking pumpkins. But I want to change the hem, so I'm going to alter that. Okay, definitely a costume. Hello, medieval times. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, these are pajamas. Hi, pajamas. My little ballet core wraparound skirt that I made. Could I wear this to tap class? Definitely. Have I? No. Should I? Yes. But I think I will put this with costumes for now. I also want to just wear this casually like around the house, but this long velvet green dress is probably more of a costume. Oh, same with the black one. I don't know if I still want this. I don't know. I don't... I don't know. What is this? Oh, this. Okay, this is definitely a costume. This is a very cliche stereotype of the 50s dress. You know, I kept telling myself that I was gonna wear it, that it's super cute. It is super cute, but like it's not, I don't feel like me wearing it. When I wear it, I feel like I'm wearing a costume. Therefore, it is a costume. I don't know if I should put this with costumes or regular tops, because I want to wear it as a regular top. It's so cool. It has like little bell sleeves. Oh yeah, this one's a costume. I tell myself I'm gonna wear it, but I don't. But it made a fantastic Christmas elf costume. I don't know, I'm just... Can you shush? The music keeps getting like quiet and then loud again and it's driving me crazy. There's just something about crushed velvet that feels very costumey to me, probably because a lot of cheap Halloween costumes are made out of it. Do I even need a pair of black trousers? I just don't think I'm much of a trouser girly, but I kind of just like having a pair of black trousers. Hmm. I can't decide. I don't know. So I do still have a whole box full of sweaters that I'm gonna come back to because I mean, they're just so out of season right now that I don't wanna deal with it. I kinda wanna clean up this mess first. So I'm gonna tidy up a little bit, put some things away that I know can be put away. And then I'm gonna come back and sort my casual things into like workwear versus around the house stuff and all of that, decide what needs to go into storage and sorting those t-shirts. Okay, I've run into a bit of a problem. Let me show you. 
sorry, it's dark, I know. Here's what I'm running into. This bar right here, I hung it just high enough that my skirts don't hit the ground, which is great, but the bar above it then is not high enough to hang my tops without them brushing into that rack, like folding up on themselves, which is why most of my shirts are down there right now. I have a few like cropped blouses and tops that are up there that fit fine, but I just, I don't like the way that it's working out. I think what I'm gonna have to do is just take down this bar because if you notice that section of clothing there, can just fit right up there. I think the top bar has plenty of space to just move everything up there. I do have a few more things I need to hang up in here, but there's a little bit of wiggle room still between items. So I feel like, I feel like I just need to come back to the closet later because I'm very frustrated and very tired and I wanna get all of the stuff off of my bed that is still on my bed. Okay, I think I'm gonna pause here for today and just try to clean up as best as I can and finish this tomorrow. I've only been at this for like an hour and a half, but my brain is already fried. I also want to fix the setup in the closet back there. So I'm gonna pause here. I'm gonna kind of tidy up what I've got and then come back to it tomorrow. And hopefully that will also give me a little bit more time and energy to also add in accessories because I know I need to go through those as well. Okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Day two, let's go. Let's get this done. Yes, I'm wearing the same hoodie as yesterday because that is what unpacking is like. Uh, don't worry, I changed my underwear. And these leggings are different. I did organize a few things off camera because I just can't <laughs> focus on organizational tasks and film at the same time. Sometimes, I don't know, it's it's too much. So let me show you what I did. I did take down that rack that was over here, which kind of made me sad because that was a lot of work to put that up, but it had to be done because it just wasn't making sense. I have this little like cube thing back in here, but I don't know if I want to keep it because I don't think I like the way that it has steps. I don't know, it's just feeling really weird to me. So what I might do is can, ugh, keep tripping on the freaking wire. Listen, I'm not in a good mood today. Well, now you're all tangled. Can we just, can we just not, can we not? I'm not enjoying this unpacking process. Okay, I might swap in a different cube storage thingy that I have. I wanted to use the white ones in the closet because I don't like them. If I have to have cube storage visible, I want them to be a darker finish, but I don't, I don't like the step one in there. And then I did set up my drawers a little bit. As I said, I still need to organize my t-shirts, but I did put pajamas in here. Down here, I put leggings and sweatpants. In here is bras and then socks and underwear. Now, one of you guys previously said you almost unfollowed me when you found out that I had a pet tarantula because you thought that I was a psycho. It's not because I had a pet tarantula. It's because I fold my underwear. That's the real reason I'm a psycho. And then so far down here, I have work and workout bottoms. I don't know if I like those together because then I was gonna put work and workout tops up here because there is some overlap between those two. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it that way. Also this corner here is so weird. Like the armoire is so big and this thing is also so big. And then it just leaves a weird corner. And I was like, Charles, should we put a chair there? And he's like, are you honestly gonna sit in the chair? No, the point of the chair is to place clothing that is not yet dirty enough to be washed, but not clean enough to put back in the closet. I don't know. So right now it's shoe tower and hamper. Also, it smells kind of weird in here. So um, I have a little candle for ambiance. All right, let's get started. So I'm kind of struggling with where exactly to put a lot of things. The stuff that's hanging up was pretty obvious to me. Pajamas and leggings was pretty obvious to me, but it's kind of like all that in-between casual stuff that I'm not sure about. So one obvious thing I can do is just get those sentimental clothing items out of the way. I think this should be plenty of space, this little bin. And honestly, I don't need to be keeping more sentimental clothing items than can fit in here. So let's do that. And then I'm gonna tackle the t-shirts because I think the placement of the t-shirts is gonna determine the placement of some other casual items. So my sentimental items that I am keeping, my t-shirt from when I did Into the Woods in high school, I designed this t-shirt. My Teen Titans belt, super freaking cool, but like, I just don't wear it. This is so cool though, like I just can't get rid of it. Original Teen Titans, not freaking Teen Titans Go, whatever that crap is. These are my pants that I got in South Africa during college on a like little tourism trip I did. What is this? Oh, <laughs> little dance shorts that I got when I did the dance club in college, but the elastic is dry 
my rotting. I do want to keep these though. This is a sweatshirt I've had since I was eight. It has Noah's Ark on it, which is so freaking cute. And I even took the pains to fix where I had cut the neckline and the hem and like cleaned it up and made it look nice, but I just don't think I'm gonna wear it. This used to be a dress that I had in high school. Once the top stopped fitting and kind of got grungy under the arms, I just cut off the top and turned it into a skirt. And I did wear it as a skirt for a while. I did get so much use out of this one stupid garment that I bought from the Deb in our mall like 15 years ago. It's gotten so much use. It just doesn't really line up with my style right now, but I love it. I do want to keep it so this will get stored. This is also from my trip to South Africa. It's just a really cool necklace, but it's not really my style. It's just very big. You know what though? I did wear it when statement necklaces were a thing. You know, everyone had those little like flower ones and I just had this big chonky coin looking statement necklace. I don't know. And then lastly, this sweater that is the most 2012 thing I have ever seen in my life because I did purchase it in 2012. It is tempting to just keep this out in the rotation, but I don't think I'm going to wear it, honestly. But it has fond memories. So that's what's going in the storage. And then we really need to have a come to Jesus moment with these t-shirts. Okay, so I've got my t-shirts into one, two, three, four, five different categories. So obviously I have the stuff that is sentimental t-shirts from past events and things. Shirts that are casual, but I don't really want to wear them out of the house. Work slash workout, ones that I don't mind getting gross and grungy. Ironically, like pretty much all of my old college shirts are there. I don't know, I just don't wanna wear my college shirts anymore. Pajamas, and then here is like casual, but I would wear them out. I would style them to wear out, potentially. There is a lot in the laundry right now though. Now I gotta figure out how I wanna put these in the drawers. This is not that much fun, guys. This is not that much fun, I'm tired. Also, why are most of these freaking gray? Why do I have so much gray? I don't even like wearing gray that much. Okay, so I took a little snack break and changed into a t-shirt. So I have the short sleeve t-shirts put away. I think I like where I have them settled. I don't know. We can always change it later. Long sleeve t-shirts though, I don't really know what to do with them. I do have one in the drawers. I'll show you, I'll give you like the full tour at the end, but I have one in the drawers that is an around the house long sleeve t-shirt. The other ones I'm gonna try hanging up for now. And then my turtlenecks, I don't think I actually like turtlenecks that much. I look kind of weird in them, but I always feel like as soon as I get rid of them, that's when we're gonna have like really cold weather where I want a turtleneck to layer. So I'm keeping my turtlenecks for now, but they might end up folded on the little shelf doodad in the closet. Okay, we're making progress though. And then that leaves the accessories that are on the bed and my sweaters. So let's get this done. I don't think I want these little gloves. I've just been keeping them out of guilt because I bought them on a trip where I forgot to pack gloves and a hat and all that and I was freezing, but I, I don't like these. I can donate those. Okay, the striped tights are obviously a costume. For a very long time, beanies like this were, well, you can't really see that one. Beanies like this were a core part of my personality. <laughs> You know, choices were made. I don't really wear this type of beanie anymore though. So maybe this one will go with the sentimental items cause this one I definitely wore the most. This one I can just get rid of. Someone gifted these to me and they're so nice. I just don't know if I'm gonna use them. How cute are these? Well, I guess I didn't really get a chance to use them cause it was so warm this past winter. I don't know why I have so many tights. I really don't enjoy the feeling of tights. It's very constricting on my middle and it's deeply uncomfortable, but colorful tights are fun. These are great because they're very soft. I dig purple. Okay, these two are almost the same, but not. I don't know. I kind of like the burgundy more. I don't remember the last time I wore gray tights. Okay, I did wash these. We'll see if I wear them this fall and winter. These are my dance tights. These can go with my costume theater stuff. And then I have two pairs of pattern tights. These are a spider web fishnet. Why did I buy these? I wore these once. They're so uncomfortable. <laughs> and then these are ones that were kind of trending for a while. There's your first problem. And they have like a snake that wraps around the legs. So cool, but I never wore them out of the house. I wore them for a few outfit videos. These might just go with costumes because I, I don't know. <laughs> I do like them, but I don't think I would wear them other than with a costume. 
after going through the sweaters i think i am gonna get rid of a few even though i look good in this one and i feel fine in it i'm just not excited about it anymore <laughs> which i don't know maybe i will regret the decision to get rid of it but it's such a basic thing that it's not that hard to replace same with these other three this is a basic brown cable knit sweater that i just don't wear that much anymore this is a basic gray cable knit sweater that i just don't wear that much anymore and this is a plain black sweater that you would think i would love because i do enjoy wearing black but it just is so bland i do have one other plain black sweater but it has an interesting pattern in the way that it's knit and i just like that better than this solid plain one it just doesn't excite me it's funny that i'm getting rid of all this black and brown and gray <laughs> it's like i like really basic items like that but i'm just not wearing them it seems like i'm getting rid of stuff at the two extremes like either super super basic bland no personality stuff and stuff that is just like way too out there way too attention grabbing i don't really like either i kind of want to be somewhere in the middle with stuff that i can feel comfortable and not like i stand out too much much, but I want it to have a little bit of personality. Um, these just kind of don't. And then this sweater, this is a little black sweater vest. I'm just gonna put this with the costume items. I haven't ended up wearing this at all as myself, but I'm not ready to part with it. I feel like it is a very versatile piece for creating different types of looks, either for lookbooks or literally for costumes. So I had to take a break to let my phone charge and while it was doing that I went ahead and set most everything up without you. Sorry not sorry. So now I'll just kind of show you what I have going on for now. I don't know that this is where everything will stay but it's good enough for now because I need to move on to other spaces in the apartment. So back here I'm using this tall skinny dresser as like an accessory and seasonal storage but over here is probably what's more important let's see what finally became of all of the t-shirts so this top drawer is t-shirts and tank tops that i am likely to style to actually wear out of the house this is around the house stuff just t-shirts that i probably won't wear out down here is leggings and sweatpants over here i did end up leaving active wear leggings with yard work clothes but these are just the long leggings active wear shorts are up here with my regular shorts because i don't really have that many shorts i'm not crazy about shorts and then this is work like yard work shirts and then these are kind of either yard work or active wear this over here is kind of like my boot tower <laughs> and then i've got handbags and hats and then in the closet so like i said i did take out that bar that was there i put in this little cube storage thing instead i feel like i like that better i don't know so then we've got a little bit of floor space for charles to put some shoes i've got a few pairs of tall boots over there haven't really decided what i'm going to do up top yet but i'll worry about that later some more shoes hung up on the door so it's a work in progress i think this will do for now but i'm hoping that this setup will be better for keeping things organized and hoping that it'll be functional especially by keeping my super cost to me stuff separated so yeah that's where i'm gonna leave it for now so if you made it to the end of this video thank you first of all uh leave a box emoji down in the comments i think there's a box emoji if there isn't there should be thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye